out this morning pulling off my merger splits. What I've got going here is what we did, we found a very strong unit, box of bees. We had a little bit of trouble this spring with cold weather and it was really tough on the nukes. So it, I was finding maybe 50 nukes within the, uh, the group of them that were framed for and a half of bees. And they're good, they're viable, they were checked out last year. Just they didn't have enough bees to tip them over that critical mass, that population threshold. So they needed just a little bit of help. So we dropped them into a single box over top of the strong unit, divided with a uh, excluder, some newspaper, the two units merged, and then by doing that it boosted the top box here, gave the queen a little more bees. She established, she's got like three or four frames of brood going on in here, and we've been able to pull some of that surplus strength from the bottom box to the top, in a sense, taking the split from this box. It's worked very well. <clears throat> Out of the 50, or I forget how many, I don't even know, but Carrie's gone around last week just to check them, and we lost two, I think it was. So it goes. All the rest are just ticking along. And right now, I'm scrambling to find time to take these off now because there's three to four frames of brood in here about to emerge and I want to move this onto its own hive stand to be able to have it establish itself on its own before that brood emerges, before this brood down here emerges again, and before they cast off a swarm. So we have to be kind of, we have to watch how this all works. Two queen colonies can just explode on you. And we're just at that line where there's a bunch of brood about to emerge so we have to take this off give this with one more space and give this one more space right so i'm going around so what we've done is we've dropped pallets and simply put the box off onto the pallet onto the truck with my loader easy breezy So I have Carrie coming around this morning with boxes. Uh, once she gets to work, she'll load the truck up and follow me with uh, honey boxes. We're putting a second on now just to be able to allow all this brood emergence someplace to go until we can get back to them to further slim them down. We're not exactly sure. Like we're going through pretty quick, like I was describing in the video yesterday on the membership side. Uh, things are happening pretty fast and we don't have a lot of time. So we're employing methods here to be able to take this split with very little work and just kind of getting things done and then we can spend a little more time later to sort things out. So the main focus right now is just to employ strategies to be able to get the work done and keep them from hanging in the trees. So we're keeping this excluder on to keep that queen down there and we're adding a second box. This is our honey box. So what we're going to do is when the queen cells start to become ready, we're going to come back here into these units and just simply pull up. If they look strong, we just, we'll just count our four frames of brood, take the extra frames of brood and bring it up top. So we'll be bringing maybe one frame of brood up from these units just to slim them down a bit. One, one and a half, maybe two if they're boomers. And then we can make nukes out of them by shaking the bees down the bottom, the brood up on top. The bees, as you can say, we put these on yesterday. These hives are just exploding. That's filled 10 frames of bees up here already. So we've 
had to pull the bees off the bottom frames because you're building drone cones and cups. Put some space up top, pull the bees up on top here, and then next week we're going to come and just shake the bees, put a frame or two of brood up there, and then we can come by and just skim that off into splits. So that's the idea behind that, just trying to manage our work. And then after that, we have uh, split hives, so it took a full box up on top and we'll be taking a full box of strength off those ones because they are, they're, they'll be ready next week too. So we have a lot coming at us in a short amount of time here. It's a matter of keeping ahead of everything. But I'm not complaining. This is an extremely encouraging thing to see. It's this type of growth with this amount of pollen and nectar coming into the colonies area. The queens of they're able to stretch in this warmth. They're able to stretch this nest right out and with all this resource the bees are are triggered to brood, 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 and we are expanding. I always get a little bit excited seeing the rate of expansion. Worried about swarming. Swarming is our whip to get this work done. But that step forward, we've just taken another step forward, is quite exciting. Work, work, work.